Senate um, undertook the first impeachment uh, in this um, uh, parliament, and unfortunately it came too early, uh, probably came too soon, just a few months after a governor had been elected. The Senate in its wisdom found that the charges that were brought uh, before it were not substantiated. But the key thing is that even if there were issues within that county, the Senate has set a very high threshold for impeachment. It is not every rumor, it is not every misdemeanor that is going to lead to impeachment. And I think progressively the Senate has established a precedent, has enriched our jurisprudence, and has defined a threshold uh, that will guide other county assemblies and other counties whenever they've got disputes with their governors. There is no leader and there is no governor who is perfect, not even my friend Irungu Kangata. Every uh, government must have a little bit of imperfection here and there. We are not saying that any single imperfection should find its way before the Senate for impeachment. There must be each, uh, uh, you know, approaches to dispute resolution and county assemblies must be encouraged to find alternative ways of resolving issues between them and governors whenever they arise without resorting to impeachment. I think Senate going forward will still <coughs> insist on a very high threshold for impeachment. Mm -hmm. We also think that uh, you, we probably might uh, put in law a time frame within which a governor or an impeachment motion should not be brought before the Senate. You know, there, there's this theory of um, group formation, uh, forming, storming, and norming. And whenever you have a, a new governor uh, in a county, it, it, the governor, he or she will go through those stages. Mm -hmm. There'll be a storming stage where people are trying to find ways of understanding each other and working with each other. And within the first six months, you find that uh, you know, many, many, many of the times, the county assemblies and governors are disagreeing on issues like appointments, on issues like uh, even things like committee leadership within the county assemblies, sometimes causes strife between the county assemblies and the governors. So hopefully we can see a situation where governors are given at least six months or one year to be able to settle down. Mm -hmm. However, if there are serious constitutional violations, and if there are serious illegalities committed by a governor, I think even if they are committed on the third day of uh, assumption of office, those then should be considered. But Senate must uh, be above the fray. Senate must consider itself like the Supreme Court when it comes to issues of impeachment. We have had a conversation internally. We saw some members of the Senate looked like they were supporting the governor. And when the governor was acquitted, we saw some of them you know, joining in the celebrations. We have had an internal conversation and we have agreed that the Senate and senators sit as judges when it comes to impeachment. And so we must be, uh, we, we, we cannot be seen to be celebrating with defendants or uh, celebrate, celebrating with plaintiffs. And, and, and as we go forward, I don't think Kenyans will be subjected to such scenes where a section of the Senate is uh, either celebrating or mourning the outcome of an impeachment decision.